Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And now we're starting to see some of the first looks at Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Black Adam outfit. And I'm already starting to have a few issues with this already. Just for the simple fact that The Rock already... He's going to be bald headed in this movie, which kind of sucks because uh, Black Adam isn't bald headed, but The Rock is. So, why the fuck didn't Dwayne Johnson put some hair on his head, grow it out, or, you know, put that Hollywood magic, get that shit glued on his head for the role? Hell, if he did it for the Scorpion King, why couldn't he do it? For the biggest role that he's prepared for in his life. And you know exercising and everything else. Why couldn't he do it for Black Adam? If you went so far. As. To try to work out and get the look. Why couldn't you go so far as to. Make yourself look like the way he's supposed to look like. I don't know. I just think that's bullshit. But I'm looking at the back of this suit and um, it looks worn and beat the fuck up. I'm already having issues with this shit already, but let's see uh, what's going on here. The title of the article reads, Black Adam star Dwayne Johnson shares our best look yet at the anti-hero suit in destructive set photo. Like I said. Fucking ball headed in this fucking movie. Come on, man. Work on Black Adam is close to wrapping up, and we're expecting some sort of official look at the movie to drop in the coming days. If not, then we're betting it'll be during October's DC fandom. You know, that's what I'm suspecting also. In the meantime, Dwayne Johnson has shared a new behind the scenes photo offering our best look yet at his costume from behind, and it definitely appears that the suit shares the same level of detail as the one Zachary Levi's titular hero will don in Shazam's Fury of the Gods. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say nothing just yet. I want to see what the fuck else they're talking about. Because actually, from the back, this fucking suit looks like shit. This image of Black Adam from behind gives you a tactile sense of the absolute massive scale and size of our movie and appropriate destruction. Johnson says below in the post, you see superheroes have a code of justice and don't kill the bad guys. He continues, but Black Adam does and hierarchy of power in the DC universe is changing. The anti-hero, the man in black, the protector of the people. It's fair to say this movie can't get here soon enough. And, and this is an exciting tease from Johnson. A full costume reveal before DC fandom really doesn't feel like it's outside the realm of possibility, especially when the cameras are about to stop rolling before Black Adam heads into post-production. Yeah, well, let's see. This movie is set to be released on July 29, 2022, after being delayed as a result of the pandemic. Check out Johnson's Black Adam post below. What I don't understand is why can't the suit just be an all black suit without all that? I don't know. It's like without all that extra. I don't know. It looks like his fucking suit was like fucking stitched together in like from pieces of, of black material instead of it just being one fucking suit all together. I don't know. That shit looks whack as fuck, man. I still can't get over the fact that he's fucking bald headed. I just can't, man. I'm sorry, y'all, but Black Adam's not bald headed. The Rock is. So, like I said, if he fucking put hair on his head for the Scorpion King, why the fuck couldn't he do it for this movie? And he's been waiting to play this role for over a decade. You just couldn't take it that extra step further to make sure that you had a fucking hairstyle that went with this shit? I don't know. I'm just... But one thing I, I can I can say is that I'm glad that he doesn't have that fucking hoodie 
or a fucking cape. Stay away from the hoodie and the fucking cape. And I hope he has the gold bands on his wrist and they don't look all jacked up. I hope he has some gold boots. And I hope he has the, the fucking, the gold thing tied around his waist. And hopefully he has a thunderbolt on his chest. And he doesn't look like fucking Zachary Levi because his album, his costume is shit. So hopefully, uh, hopefully The Rock has his shit together with this movie because I'm going to be a tough fucking critic. You got, you got millions of dollars and you can't do the simplest shit. I'm going to be real with y'all, man. I, don't, I ain't trying to hear that shit. So, you got the money, you've been working on this shit, you got your production team going, and you can't even come up with the look? Shit, if a cosplayer can put that shit together, motherfuckers with millions of dollars can do it and have the money to do it better. But can they actually pull it off? And that's the thing. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys let me know what you think about this shit in the comment section below. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I'm out. Peace.